What's good guys, back at it again with another filler episode. So yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to booty tap that like button. And yeah, let's get into it. 50 reasons on why I hate support players in Overwatch. Number one, support players in general. They piss me off. I hate them. I hate all of them. I hope all of them get castrated. Number two, we got egotistical mercy players. There's nothing more cringeworthy than a mercy typing in chat their damage amp like they're doing anything remotely skillful. Now, don't get me wrong. I can respect a good mercy player, right? But we can all agree that mercy does not take more skill than 90% of the Overwatch cast. So, Rebecca, when you type in your damage amp, especially when all you're doing is shoving your staff up your DPS smurf e-boys fleshy fun bridge, it's just cringeworthy because it's not remotely skillful at all that is your smurf e-boy on dps the self-esteem is so low that he has to smurf in low rank that's doing the work next we got battle mercies now i get it right you're tired of holding your e-boy's cock in your hand all day you know you want to get quirky you want to show him that you're not like the others But oh my god is it annoying because after they kill me when I'm low health, they type in chat a smiley face or some dumb shit like they did anything. The way I ate that up, oh my god, period, I'm so skinny, sk 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 stream doja cat. Like you stupid bitch, you did nothing but aim your gun in my direction. And since Blizzard decided to make her pistol's hitbox the size of my fucking cock, of course you're gonna kill me. Next is mercy one tricks. Now I know so far it's been a lot of mercy slander, but how have you guys know I have every right to with the amount of mercy time I have on this game. But Jesus fucking Christ, can I not stand mercy one tricks on my team? So many females want to be treated with respect, and these same females log into Overwatch, auto lock mercy for six hours straight, and wonder why people discriminate against them. Not saying it's okay, but but hey, ju just nice. saying, just throwing that out there. And number f <laughs> Next is support players trying to flag. We all know the holy trinity of e-girls and gays. It's Mercy, D.Va, and Symmetra. Support players are, in general, are brain dead. So when they try to flex, it's so goddamn tilting. And it's often because they flex you for tickets because support times often go up to 8 minutes, 7 minutes. There's only one other type of person I can't stand more than Mercy players, and that's Moira players. Moira is just a shit hero. People think you switch to Moira when you're dying too much because Moira has the best survivability. Man, if you believe that, make sure you put on your helmet next time you leave the house. If you're somewhat of a competent player and you see the enemy has a Moira, you have a shaking orgasm. And is it just me or are most Moira players like 31 year old men that sound like they're just mad at the world? You're limiting what your team can pick, you're limiting the position, because as Moira you have to be giving them a prostate exam to be healing them number seven we got women now it's common knowledge that women make up a majority of the support players and we also all know that women are inferior to men in gaming and in everything in general so the sound of a woman i'm shaking right now at the thought of a woman on my team and their high-pitched forced voices god damn i just want to wake up chris breezy i'm joking man today's society is so soft that i have to explain that it's a joke otherwise people are going to believe it's real and they're going to be typing oh reader sexist i always knew Anyways, number eight, gay people. Number nine, we got the amount of... <laughs> Uh, I'm really playing with fire. I would say number eight is not enough femboys. Gay dudes are some of the funniest motherfuckers in this game. When I hear a Shane Dawson sounding motherfucker on my team, I just know I'm gonna get content because they are the sassiest. They say what's on their mind. They don't give a fuck. So yeah, I'd prefer if there's more femboys in the support category. And if you're a femboy, my 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 Discord, my 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 my, my Discord DMs are open, baby girl. Number nine, we got the amount of coping support players do. Support players bitch and whine the most and it just doesn't add up since the support role holds some of the most overtuned heroes in this game just, it's just insane for me the for the amount of overtuned heroes in the support category it just doesn't add up in my brain why there's so many whiny and bitchy support players number 10 kind of ties into number one number 10 kind of ties into number nine and that's number 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 10 kind of ties into number nine and that support players victim complex now this is really easy to bait likes and views on my videos by playing support because people watch my videos and they're like, oh, if even Raider gets blamed, then people always think it's the support's fault. It's not really me. I'm doing everything I can't. No, bitch. I only play support solely because I like to bait the support community. Also, because it is the easiest role to play. So yeah, support players always have the idea that they're doing everything right. It's just that it's always the support player's fault. No, you get blamed for a reason. It's because you're dog shit. If it was true that support players always get blamed, then me, who only main support and channel is about toxicity i would be uploading every fucking week instead i get toxicity like i get bitches i get <laughs>
Instead, I get the amount of toxicity as I do bitches. Zero. Zip. Nada. Number 11, we got how blind and deaf some support players are. Sometimes I really wonder if Stevie Wonder is on my team playing support. There's no way you don't hear me taking damage and my character moaning as if I'm a petite white bitch on the bang bus. Let alone me spamming I need healing and you still don't turn around for me i feel bad for you tanking dps players in gold and plat not saying that's the reason you're stuck i mean you're stuck because you're fucking dog shit but still i still feel bad for you because you probably have helen keller as your supports coming in at number 12 we got egotistical baps for all you bat players out there who think you're good at the game in the grand scheme of things i am bad at this game a lot of you guys don't think so because a lot of you are platinum diamond and master but even i a horrible content creator who plays the game for toxicity can get 4200 with a win rate on BAP of 83. I know there's gonna be a couple of people getting, oh, Raider, that's nothing. Try getting 4,700, dude. Okay, we get it, Billy. You have no fucking life. So, yes, in the grand scheme of things, 4,200 is insanely high. And for me to get it with such ease, with such a high BAP win rate, should show you how broken BAP is if even a Neanderthal like me can play him up to 4,200. Number 13, we got support players again because making this video is making me realize how much I absolutely despise them. Next, we got Mercy Montages. It's some of the most cringy shit i know there's gonna be comments being like oh, you put mercy places in your montages yeah I, I do it to fucking bait the mercy players that watch me Adder. number 15 burger king foot lettuce the last thing you want in your burger king burger is someone else's foot funga number 15 we got reddit lucios and is it just me or does every reddit lucio sound the exact same they sound like a prepubescent little bitch who watches red shell all day it's annoying to have them on your team it's annoying to go against them on ilios on well where i have to play knowing there's a frog behind me knowing that he's trying to put me on the next episode of black they think they're so nutty and funny it's so goddamn cringe like speed our fucking ryan around you dumb but hey, at least you got bronze healing over a Roadhog. Number 16, we got Babs who hold their window. There is no reason you should hold your window for more than two fights. Some can even argue one. Please don't hold your window, just use it. It takes two seconds to f***ing build back up. Number 17, we got dead off cooldown supports. I get it, as a support player, sometimes you don't get peel. But if you're some of these brain dead support players who don't know anything about positioning, who peek out in the open, who mercy e-girl jump with the enemy has a widow, who front lines who doesn't stay behind the shield who has no idea on where the enemy's positioning are and just walks blindly you definitely needed to leave the classroom when your class was taking a test and number 18 this mostly happens in low ranks since if you play more in high ranks you'll get death threats and told you're a waste of life number 18 is damage moira's like holy shit i get it my team isn't peeling for me so you sneak up behind my booty hole and give me that sloppy toppy 3000 there's nothing more arrogant than seeing a moira come at me at a straight line and i can't do anything about it because she's a dumb ugly skinny anemic fucking bitch she's skinnier than some zimming hit scan mains number 19 we got the e couple e dating support player who's often on mercy pocketing their smurf hit scan zimming little e boy and they're just in your ear flirting the entire match i play overwatch to feel depressed because i'm lonely and miserable i don't need to hear how happy in life you guys are get Remember that cool. shit out of my ear dog and number 20 kind of ties into the last one which is healers not healing other healers there's no more annoying way to die than spamming i need healing and when i die and watch my team i see my mercy raw dogging the hit scan with her staff number 21 we got healers who can't run a proper support comp now it should be obvious that you don't need two main healers mercy isn't a main healer moira is a shit pick you should never go mercy lucio brig zen is okay brig mercy is not when i lock anna you should not go moira or bap that is equivalent to us going back in open queue and you taking third dps when you pick last i picked main healer first go fucking off healer next we got lucio or zens who don't know when to use their defensive ult when azaria grabs your first instinct should not be to trank or beat you should wait to see if the grab has any follow-up because the grab itself does zero damage if it's a dragon grab combo you should wait till the latest second before the dragon hits for you to use your ult number 23 we got stubborn support players when the enemy has dive and you decide to one trick mercy instead of going brig when your team is going dive and you decide to play bap or moira when your team has no ryan and you have nothing
nothing to speed boost yet you want to lock Lucio and do absolutely nothing the entire game when your Ash is asking for a pocket because the enemy Ash has a pocket and yeah that's why I despise one trick number 24 we got the GM supports who are insanely dog shit at the game support has to be the only role where you see a 4100 4200 support player play exactly like a diamond at number 25 we got support players who complain about doomfist now mercy players are the most guilty of this doom is not broken just because your team doesn't want to peel for you does not mean doom is broken that means your team is just bad at the game there's always the option to switch to brig or switch to another hero instead of one tricking mercy and spreading your ass cheeks wide open for him and yeah um i don't think we have time for the other 25 but if you guys want to see part two make sure to hit that like button if you guys want to see me do a one for tank one for dps uh yeah guys peace see y'all in the next video